Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa game. Today we're going to be playing as Puerto Rico. It's been heavily requested by literally everybody. <laughs> like loads of people, even on the live streams that I've been recently doing, all I've been seeing is please do Puerto Rico, please do Puerto Rico, please, 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 please. It's like, okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do Puerto Rico. So we're doing them today. Um, we've replaced some of the smaller teams and kept the bigger teams, you know, just to make it a little bit fair. Let's see how far we can get with Puerto Rico. So we're currently in a group with Costa Rica, Aruba, Dominican Republic. That looks good, but as we know, we have to randomize the groups. So, in three, two, one, boom. And we're in a group with us, pretty good. Trinidad, Cuba, and Dominican Republic. So, we've got our neighbors right there, Dominican Republic. We've got Cuba as well, which is obviously close by. And we've got Trinidad and Tobago. That's actually not too bad, to be fair. We avoided the bigger teams for now. So, Puerto Rico could go through in this one, maybe, if I play well. It's on legendary difficulty as well. Don't feel I need to tell you that anymore. I mean, I do just in case, you know, someone pops up and says it's not on the hardest difficulty. But yeah, this should be hopefully a good run today with Puerto Rico. Our first match kicking off this qualifying campaign is against Trinidad and Tobago away from home. A tough team to play against. Luckily in this group, two teams can go through in this one. I reckon the favourites would be... Cuba and Trinidad and Tobago. Cuba seem to be a really like strong two-star team and Trinidad and Tobago we all know they are pretty decent on this game. So we need to pull off some really good performances. Velegas. Mega Laudis. And it's just cut out there. I'll take a draw at this stage. I really will. Like Trinidad and Tobago tough team to play against in our first match, especially with Kenwin Jones trying to bomb past our defence there. Rivera Carre. Cabrero. Megalaudis. Up to Figueroa. Pokes it to Cabrero. Trying to get past the Trinidad defence. It's doing well, but it's cut out by Abu Bakr. And now there is a chance for Trinidad. No, nope. we got there just before him. Seem to be really good on the ball here, Puerto Rico. At the moment anyway, as it stands. And that's going to be probably... No, not offside. And wait, he did foul me, but... Oh, we took the shot beforehand. Velegas, Delgado. Nice pass. And that is not a penalty. Again, another decision that the referee waves away. And Trinidad and Tobago are constantly sliding me out in this first half. I think they're a bit frustrated at how Puerto Rico have been playing. Are Puerto Rico a good football team in real life or am I just thinking that they are? I don't know. I, I, I bet they're not. I reckon they're more of a baseball team. Poor pass on Trinidad and Tobago. Now we can push up. Is there a chance? No. They just seem to steal the ball at the most random opportunities. I'm not playing particularly brilliant at the moment. But remember, we are a half-star team. Velagas. Megalaudis. Is there a chance to cross it in? There was, and oh, if only I got to shoot first time, it might have snuck its way in, but no, goalkeeper retrieves. That's going to go out to the wing. Jones, he's got it into Scotland, and please get up. No! Oh, I told you, didn't I? I told you this would happen. 85th minute, literally at the death of the game, and that is unfortunate because that defensive effort was spectacular. But then the goalkeeper just stood there like, what are you doing? Come out for it. But no, oh, that's not going to be good for the form. But it was our own fault for missing that chance about 10 minutes ago. Referee gets in the way there. Up to you. Can Puerto Rico get a last ditch effort? There is a chance here. And it's gone in. It's gone in. They rescued it. It's 1-1 and it's Velagas. He scores and he's rescued it away from home. A bit of a mix-up from the defenders there. They collided and it allowed him to go through. How did that go through the goalkeeper as well? It was straight at him, but still it went through him. It literally clipped through him. How lucky is that? And it's 1-1. Incredible scenes. 
So it's 1-1 at full time and a well-deserved draw for Puerto Rico. A few people might say it's a bit lucky, but I don't care. I got the draw and that sets us up for the rest of the group now. Because if we can just get a good result against Cuba and the Dominican Republic as well, we have a good chance of going through. Our second match away from home against Dominican Republic, our neighbours and rivals. Let's see if we can disappoint these home fans here today. I'm hoping for a good performance since Cuba have already beaten the Dominican Republic, which will mean they're in not very good form. We drew against the group favourites, Trinidad and Tobago. So that's your table. Cuba are currently leading. I reckon that we should be beating the Dominican Republic. Through ball. Defender needs to get that. Poke to the goalkeeper. Cuba are leading Trinidad and Tobago. Cuba might be the ones to watch out for in this group. Currently leading the favourites of the group. Into the middle and it's cut out. Oh, that was a good ball and it went straight back up there for some reason. Didn't actually tell him to do that but kind of worked in my favour. Back post and it's in. It's gone in and I just got thrown to the floor by the keeper. So we're going to celebrate with our away fans there. That is 1-0. A bit of a weird one. I thought I wasn't going to get that but Mega Loudis made it look pretty routine that header. As it came in, it was a bit high, but yeah, the defender just couldn't deal with me. And that is 1-0. Here we go, through ball, Figueroa. He's trying to run, and he gets slid out, and that could be a yellow card. No, a referee just waves it away. Go on, through ball here. They left him on side. This could be a chance. And it is a chance and it's well taken. It's 2-0. I kind of struggled a little bit there because I was like, do I shoot or do I lay it off? And I chose to lay it off and it almost didn't pay off. But it actually went through the little gap between the two defenders and we just tapped it in. Ortiz with the goal. It's 2-0. I love these little like derby matches, especially ones that are not very well... Uh, well, not like well heard of, but not well mentioned, should I say. Because, you know, doing it in qualifying adds a little bit more tension to it. Come on. Whip that in. Back post. Doesn't get headed, but we got it. And it comes out to you. And oh, I thought I scored from that angle, but no. It's half time. We're currently 2-0 up. It looks pretty good so far. As long as Dominican Republic don't pull off some kind of like epic comeback. Crossed in and oh well then there we go. I eat my words and oh it was offside. Okay. Well they almost made me eat my words. It was a decent ball into the box. And yep, yeah, well, offside. Come on. Mega loudis. Yeah, that's a goal. They didn't even touch me on that one. I was able to literally just adjust my player at multiple stages of that and they just didn't get anywhere near me. The Dominican Republic obviously don't really have great defence. And it's 3-0. What a strike that was by Mega Laudis. And yeah, we look set to win this game. And that's going to be it. We won 3-0 over our rivals and neighbours, Dominican Republic. Away from home as well. So that's brilliant. That's a good result. I'll take that. That's four points on the board. we got another game now against Cuba before the halfway point. And if we can beat Cuba, then you have to think that we have got at least one foot in the door for the next round. Our third match is away from home against Cuba. Not going to lie, I'm a tiny bit worried about this game. Well, they beat the Dominican Republic and they scored against Trinidad and Tobago before throwing the game away. They could be like a, a miniature dark horse. Into the middle. Patau. Cuba are going to pose a lot of problems in this game. It's got slide tackled off the ball. No referee symbol came up for it, which is uh, very odd. That's a good ball into the box, though. And what a finish that was by, I think it was Mega Laudis. Yes, it was. What a finish. And the ball into the box was really nice as well. Just a little chip ball. And then the volley into the back of the net for 1-0. I told you that we needed something special to break down Cuba. Well, we got it. The goalkeeper probably should have done a little bit better. It's half time and we are currently leading by one goal to nil over Cuba. This is really good, especially considering that most of these games that we played have been away from home. 
we've yet to do our home fixtures against some of these sides. So hopefully we can perform even better at home than we are right now. Good pressing there from Puerto Rico. Oh, great ball. This deserves a goal. But the finish, the finish was just, oh, that back heel pass to Figueroa. How is he missing that? It seems like Figueroa, even though he has scored a couple of times in this run, just can't seem to be consistent. Dominican Republic and Trinidad and Tobago having a decent game. It's 3-1. Dominican Republic have pulled one back in that match. And that's headed and that's in. That's a goal for Cuba. Okay, Linares has scored. And that is 1-1. I expected my defender to head that. I don't know why. He's only rated like, what, 50. But still, I expected him to because he was a bigger man. But okay, 1-1. We fell asleep there defensively. Belagas crossed in again. And oh my god, how did that stay out? How on earth did that stay out? That was ridiculous. Cuba could have got another one. This is what he said at the start. I'm a little bit afraid of this side. Oh, Dominican Republic. Is the comeback on? I hope so. Go away though, Cuba, please. Might be a draw here, which again is fine. Because it's away from home. I'll take it. But... Yeah, we were leading and we could lose. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Oh, fuck off. No, oh my goodness. Oh, no way. Oh my goodness, the goalkeeper with a huge save at the end of the match. That was just so stupid of me to pass it like that. And look at that save. Oh, that would have been 2-1, 100%. In any other circumstance, it would have been 2-1. But luckily our goalkeeper came up with a clutch save. And we could lead to a situation here. No, okay, Cuba just a bit too strong. And that is going to be 1-1 away from home. Again, a decent result. But at the same time, we were leading. We were leading and we fell asleep at points. So yeah, five points from three games. If we can do that again, that'll be 10 points. And that should be enough to qualify so this is your table at the halfway point trinidad and tobago are leading because they have zero losses and seven points we are in second with five points cuba just behind us uh by a point with four points dominican republic with zero but it's not over for them yet they have to play us again and that is our next match coming up so we're at home for this one finally we got some home fixtures and it's against our neighbours and rivals again, Dominican Republic. We finished them quite strong in the last one we played against them. So can we do it again? We need to. We need the three points. Oh, taken away there. Figueroa is going for on goal. This should be an easy finish, right? Oh my goodness. This is what I mean with Figueroa. Scores some and then misses some absolute sitters. I know the goalkeeper saved it, but still... I need you to go there and it's cut out, but it goes back to you. Oh, that was a decent sort of like kind of snapshot shot almost. And well, goalkeeper did well to keep it out. As soon as I retrieve the ball, they snatch it away from me and then they start doing this. All they've been doing is this, just rotating around in circles with the ball, trying to be as irritating as possible. I know their game. They're trying to make me not qualify as our neighbours... And rivals, they're trying to stop us by just messing around with it. Because they know that they haven't got a chance. And it's half time, a frustrating experience so far. As we cannot seem to score against this team. The weakest in the group next to us. But obviously I'm in control. But yeah, I mean we should have scored at least twice in that one. Can't tackle this guy. Will not let me. Look. He's not doing anything with the possession he's got. He's just messing around with it. There we go. Cabrera's got it. Come on. Go on. Yes. Nice solo run. And that is 1-0. I did think about passing it off. But nah. It's good. And Cabrera has scored. Not the most interesting of games so far. As we reach the hour point in time. In the game time I should say. Yeah. Just not being the most interesting game. But 
we're going through here. That was a bit weird. That sort of glitchy moment. Mega Loudis. It's not two. He hits the post. Pass it off to Figueroa. Oh, over the bar. Some of the shooting really needs to be fine-tuned for the next game. I think our next game is against Cuba. And it's one that we have to win. Like, we really, really have to win it. Because they're currently leading Trinidad still. Which means that if Cuba win that match, it's going to make an awkward situation for the last match. Because we'll have Trinidad and Tobago. Cuba will have Dominican Republic. So... It's set up for both of those teams to go through and for me to fail. So we won in the end 1-0. Like I said, it wasn't the best of matches. The quality of football was really dreadful, especially Puerto Rico's finishing. Oh my goodness, it was terrible. We need to fine-tune it for the next match. It's vital that we pick up a win here against Cuba this time because the group is currently, hopefully it will show it, but it's literally me top and Trinidad and Cuba just one point behind me. So it is, like I said in the last match, set up for me to fail because if we lose here and then lose against Trinidad, then it's all over. This is the standings, look, see? So it's between three teams for the top two places with two games left. If we beat Cuba, we'll be safe. If we don't, then we're in a bit of trouble. Oh, that was a nice, kind deflection. And then a <laughs> slide tackle there by Cuba. Some of these slide tackles have been either insanely on point for the AI or they're just, you know, getting away with blatant fouls and the referees are not calling for them. Velagas up to Megaloudis. Velagas again out on the wing. Into the middle. That was a good pass. And just saved there. We needed to get a shot off because there was no shots really in that first half. Well, just yet yeah, anyway. Cabrero whips it in. That's a good chance. And that's gone in. That just went in. It was a free header. And Ortiz has scored to make it 1-0. I love those type of headers when they just float into the back of the net. Love it. He found the gap. And that was a nice header. That's 1-0 against Cuba so far. What was that? But we still got the ball back to you. Go on. Oh, the looping shot. Not a good one. And as we go into halftime, we are 1-0 up over Cuba. This is really, really good so far. It's going to be a really exciting finish in this group. Because if we win this match, then it's all down to if Trinidad can beat us. And if Cuba can beat Dominican Republic. So it's going to have a lot of twists and turns. Currently Dominican Republic are drawing against Trinidad. Oh Trinidad are now 2 nil up over Dominican Republic. Wouldn't have lasted long to be fair. That uh, sort of stalemate between them. They had to have scored eventually. Puerto Rico have really had to squeeze this result out. To try and win here against Cuba. Pass it off the field. Like, it's been a bit of a bad game. But we won. And I think that might have helped us in our qualifying campaign. I think we're actually through. I think we are actually through. So, I don't think the game... Well, the last game actually really matters too much. Puerto Rico have really defended well in these last two games. Really, really proud of them. Especially for being a half-star team. And getting to the next round is something to be celebrated so we have 11 points so that confirms our qualification to the next round of qualifying which is brilliant for puerto rico trinidad and tobago are in second place now unless cuba beat dominican republic by a massive margin and then i beat uh trinidad and tobago by an equally large margin or even just beat them then I would assume that Trinidad and Tobago will go through unless Cuba do exactly what I said. Puerto Rico definitely deserved to go through in this one, the way they played and everything. It was very scrappy at times, but sometimes scrappiness is needed. Sometimes it's needed with some international teams or even club level teams. It sometimes can win you games and Puerto Rico have used it to their advantages with Picking up one nils in the last two matches. So, yeah, brilliant.
I hope we can do that in the next qualifying round, but it'll be a lot harder to do that against teams like Mexico and uh, Jamaica, teams like that, you know. For a ball, here comes Glenn. I can't really catch him up. And he puts it wide anyway. This game, yet again, not really too many highlight moments. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, really. I can't really seem to push my way past uh, Trinidad and Tobago's defenders. Edwards trying to push forward. And that's a goal. And that is Kenwin Jones, I can tell, from the ponytail. And that's 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. We fell asleep again defensively. We couldn't actually deal with Kenwin Jones either. We know how strong he is. We know how fast he is as well. So, yeah. Okay. 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. Are we going to get our first loss of this group stage at the end of the group? Bit of a weird situation to be in, but I guess you've got to lose at some point. Come on, Puerto Rico. Oh, that was a bad challenge. And that's definitely going to be a yellow. Trinidad did this in the first match. It just keeps sliding me out. It's a bit of a nuisance. Go for it. Oh, just over the bar. Again, our shooting's not that sharp. And that's what's going to worry me for the next part of qualifying. Over the top. That was good. But just... Oh, wow. That could have been a crazy own goal. That was super lucky. The goalkeeper's coming up for this one. Please, man. Please. I'm begging you. Please try and score this with the goalkeeper. Come on. Oh, just... No. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to get the ball. Oh, no. We missed it completely. And Scotland's gone for it. And he misses the late chance. But that wasn't a good game. We lost at 1-0. And even though Puerto Rico battled hard in that one, I felt like there was a lack of intensity, especially in front of goal as well. It wasn't the best match in the world. And that's what worries me going into the next one. So that is your final group for the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. And as you can see, it's extremely basic. No real surprises in there. Apart from us, of course, we've got Honduras, Trinidad and Tobago, Costa Rica, United States and Jamaica. But actually, going back a little bit, Mexico got eliminated on the final day by the United States. Oh, that is... Um... That is tragic. So anyway, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this first part of your Puerto Rico World Cup 2010 qualification. If you did enjoy this one, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.